Main Street was once where everything happened. You could shop, visit with neighbors, or grab a bite to eat. But the need to get everywhere faster changed that. Interstate highways flew around downtown and Main Street all but died. But what's old is new again. Entrepreneurs are rediscovering the charm and history that comes with doing business downtown. New businesses are springing up in old historic buildings and better yet, the people are starting to come back. This is Main Street Reborn, the show about the people and the businesses that are bringing Main Street back to life. Fairfield, Texas, county seat of Freestone County. The rich farmland, clear springs, vast amounts of timber, and the proximity to the Trinity River for transportation attracted settlers from the eastern and southern states. Today, centered around a bend in Highway 84 and bypassed a while back by I-45, the downtown area is seeing new life thanks to recent efforts. We'll take a look at some of the businesses keeping the historic downtown hopping. But first, let's take a look back in history at the Freestone County Historical Museum, where Patricia Pratt is the curator. This is a museum that was based on the history of Freestone County. And Freestone County's history goes back to the 1830s when white settlers started coming in here to grow cotton and corn. At the time when the earliest settlers came, it was part of a Mexican land-granted area. And that was before the Texas Revolution of 1836. After that, we won, became a republic, and more people came in. And lots of people came in here for one reason, and that is to grow cotton. Cotton was Fairfield's main crop. According to the city's website, the town enjoyed the 1880s, unaware of the calamities that were on the way. A meningitis outbreak in 1890 killed 32 people, but this was almost forgotten in 1900 when a tornado struck. In 1903, the boll weevil infestation destroyed the cotton crop, and if that wasn't enough, a fire in 1911 burned much of what was missed by that tornado in 1900. You know, when the cotton crop failed by boll weevils, I'm sure these people from Alabama and other places in the Old South knew how to make moonshine. And they were probably making it for personal medicinal reasons. But when you can't depend on agriculture, you go back on things that you know how to do that sell. I guess you could say we were probably the moonshine capital of Texas. The Texas Rangers saw to it that that title didn't last too long. And some of the town's preachers made an example out of the moonshiners, as memorialized on the museum property with what may be the only church house to house a moonshine still. Other items Patricia is proud of include the historic Freestone County Jail and a fine example of an 1800s log cabin. Patricia is a walking encyclopedia of Freestone County history, and she has the artifacts to back it up at the Freestone County Historical Museum. Next time on Main Street Reborn, we venture into downtown to see some of the businesses who are keeping the heart of Fairfield, Texas alive and brimming with activity. Right here on Main Street Reborn. <laughs>